In Remnant 2, there are three different main worlds. You have Losum, Yasha, and Narud. If you are in Yasha, there is an area you might stumble across that is called the Cathedral of Omens. And in the middle, I'm going to call it a sundial. You've basically got this machine thing with levers around the edge of the room that you need to pull in order to turn certain things around. And from the entrance of the room, if you go to the left, there's going to be a door that's already open. If you go straight across from where you start, there's going to be a door that's closed. Over to the right-hand side, there's going to be a door that's closed. And then I think it's in the back right corner corner there's going to be a room that's got a book that explains all the symbols and stuff but i'm going to try and make this as easy as possible to get all the doors open and there's actually a third puzzle because obviously you've got two doors closed those two will open up and then there's a third puzzle that will raise a weapon out of the ground so for the first one we're going to go with the door that is straight in front of you if you're looking from like where you entered the room and what you want to do is keep in mind the lever that's at that section where you enter is going to rotate the triangle the lever that's over on the left hand side is going to rotate the two circles and the lever on the right hand side will rotate the symbols so what you want to do is from where you come in run straight across to where there's a section with no lever and look above that door you're going to see a triangle then what what you want to do is you want to make sure that you twist the like pull the lever and rotate the triangle in the like shadow on the floor so that it's exactly how it is when you're looking above that door then if you go into the room and you take a look at what the symbols look like what you then need to do is turn the symbols around so that death is above the triangle so it's at the top point of the triangle and then what you need to do is with the left side lever you need to keep pulling it until the circles come round and the circle shadows are around ravager death and doe so keep going back in the room looking at the book if you need to but once you've done that, you are going to get the door that's in front of you open. And once you've got that door open, there is going to be a crafting material called Faith Seed, which you can then sort out when you go back to Ward 13. Then with the second door, the one that's on the right-hand side as you enter the room, so you enter the room, the door that's to your right, that again is going to have another triangle above it. So make sure that the triangle is exactly the same way, like facing the same direction, as what it is on the door when you're standing in front of the door looking at it. You don't do this all from the point of view of you entering the room. This time the triangle has to be the exact same way it is when you're looking directly at that door. So what you want to do with this one is once the triangle is matching, you need to make sure the ravager is below the triangle. So move the symbols around until you have the ravager below. And then what you want to do is make sure the shadows or the circles are around the moon, the ravager and the sun. Once you've got that done, that door is going to open it will say like quest success on the screen once you've got that done you go into that room there are going to be two chests but if there is a trap door that opens up go down there you're going to get some extra goodies and it states and like i've read through a couple of websites and stuff to figure this out it states that that trap door will only open when you solve the calamity door puzzle and a blood moon is active so i wouldn't worry about it too much if the trap door doesn't open you're still going to grab the two chests in the room and then the final one you are going to have to look behind you like so you walk into the room again look behind you and there is a triangle above the section you came in you then need to get the the sundial the shadows or whatever you need to get the triangle matched to face the exact same direction it does when you're looking at the one on the wall above the section where you came in once you've done that and you've got the triangle matched up life and sun need to be below the triangle and then the shadows of the doe life sun and the ravager need to have the circles around them so you're going to have to pull the levers again to sort all that stuff out and once you have completed that part of the quest you are going to have a weapon that comes up from the middle of the floor and it's called the sagittarius so that is how you solve the cathedral of omens puzzle in remnant 2 and on that note, we are going to leave the video there. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like is appreciated. If you wish to support me further as a creator, there are links in the description. Let me know your thoughts about the video in the comments. And if you want to watch more, you can click the video on screen. All support on the channel is greatly appreciated, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.